What's up guys, it's Bagsy. We are at round three of the Monster Energy King of Europe. Castelloni track right outside Barcelona. The sun is shining, it's beautiful weather out here. It's just fixing the car up now, trying to adjust it for the fast fourth gear flat transitions of four turns. It's gonna be sick. So the circuit here, from what I've seen so far, we've just been all driven round, uh, is absolutely amazing. It's downhill section to begin with, picking up so much speed. I'm guessing it's gonna be the entry, it's gonna be third, upshift, then to fourth and just holding that all the way around at least three to four turns of just madness. The circuit is really wide, so it's gonna give us loads of room to play. We've got an outside clipping point, we've got inside clipping points, and everyone is just geared up for it. Some absolutely savage drivers in, from BMWs to Nissans to Mustangs, it's absolutely unreal. So yeah, when we rocked up to France, everyone's just super excited. I couldn't even get my car off the trailer without everyone trying to help, which is actually refreshing to see in the drift world. Um, so, yep, we've arrived here at Spain, same again. I've arrived, we pulled up to the circuit, loads of competitors have been here since first thing. You know, we, we pull into the paddock and everyone's trying to help. Getting the marquee up, from getting the car off the trailer to jacking her up, taking the wheels off. You know, it's super friendly. Everyone just wants to get involved, everyone wants to know everybody and just, everyone's just like a good atmosphere. At the end of the race, everyone's sharing barbecues and getting amongst it, so... Yeah, it's actually, it's, you know what, I'm gonna use the word again, it's really refreshing to see in the drift community. So like the championship as a whole is so competitive. Like I really wasn't expecting um, some of the drivers that are here and what they're pedaling. Uh, you know, they've got 750 horsepower with anti-lag and launch control and you're on the line and some guy next to you sounds like a European rallycross car. And it's just, it's just mad. Like what we're trying to compete against, I didn't expect it. Realistically coming again, I'd bring like something real good because you know, if you haven't got 700 horsepower, you're not in the club. And you know, back home, you know, you're in the club if you're in fight with 500 horsepower, but out here you are like bottom of the league. You need to be with some serious power. Like seriously, there's some guys here with like 900 horsepower and that's wheel horsepower, which is absolutely mental. And like, they're going through like two sets of tires in one run. So, you know, the smoke is just nothing like I've seen before. It's just savage, absolute savage. Got uh, Vaughan Gittin coming over to uh, Spain as well, and it's going to be interest interesting to see what he thinks about the uh, European scene. From what I'm guessing he's going to say, it's going to be similar to FD because the cars are unreal. There's no limit on budget for some of the drivers here. They've got, they've got more horsepower than some of the FD cars. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to hear his thoughts. Vaughan's been amazing so far. Uh, talking about how we've got the car set up is interesting because he believes that we need to set the car up slightly differently. So we're going to go on Vaughan settings for this weekend and see if that works out any better. Um, you know, and just try and bring what we can from the UK over to Europe.